Did you hear Kenny Rogers died? Oh, no. Yeah. He failed it just before the virus. Just like my dad. My dad yeah. did the same. Well, look, um, I was going to introduce all the new members, but they're not here, so we won't have to worry about that. We can skip that first part of the thing. Yeah. Right. Um, look, what I wanted to do is just touch on three points. And one of them is how to take advantage of the lockdown rules. And for all those guys who didn't make the call, uh, Lynn and I are here, we're the ones soldiering on. Anthea put in her apology because she's actually busy at work doing her nursing stuff. So that's kind of good. We'll let her off the hook there. Uh, you other guys, well, have a listen to this and apply some of it uh, because this is a golden time for you to actually be doing something while everyone is in lockdown. You've got a captivated audience where they're sitting there spending their time searching. And you can now start targeting all of those different companies that are putting people off and asking for the best players, so to speak. So, so the first point is how to take advantage of the lockdown rules one is start your 17 day program, start a new pattern because it's a bit of a new um, new sensation that we all have to be stuck inside. Um, set up a bit of a fitness challenge. Now there's a group called TMAC uh, 20, which is a yoga, yoga group, it's free. They've got a 10 day challenge which starts today. So if anyone wants to go to TMAC 20 and do a bit of yoga, there's beginners for me. <laughs> And for the people who can bend over and touch their toes, there's the intermediate. And then there's this kick-ass one that I will never be able to do for a long time yet. But I'll get there eventually. Uh, so I'm starting that. And the other one is start doing a bit of extra reading. Find something, um, and I was going to give you the name of this, this uh, audio, which is really quite interesting, and I'll elaborate on it a little you know, I'm going to send out a bit of a newsletter. Um, it's called Staring Down the Wolf by Mark Devine. Now, this bloke's an ex-Navy SEAL. I've read a few of these lately that have really sort of given myself a kick in the bum. Um, but they really talk about the, the inner fears that we all have. And a lot of those inner fears are just, uh, I can't be bothered, not setting a standard for yourself. He talks about how you let yourself off the hook with, oh, it'll be right, I won't do it today. Uh, or creating that little, ex that set of excuses in your head as to why it can't work. Like we're now in a coronavirus lockdown, no one's gonna buy anything and everyone's gonna save their money and all of those little fear excuses. It's it's an audio, it's not very dear, it's only about $6.90 or something bloody thing. Or it's not very dear anyway, but I listen to it every day. Um, it goes for about seven hours, so you've got a bit of listing to do. But the reality is, apply. It's very much an application audio where you can apply what he's teaching you, and it's about stepping into your leadership and stepping away and staring the fears that you have in your face. So it's worthwhile having a look at. There's a there's a number of others that I touched on. One that's going to be really interesting because it really exposes the uh and i won't i haven't finished it yet but it really exposes those deep down past beliefs that have controlled you like you end up getting right through the top of the onion and you get to the core and you get this bit of oh, i stopped myself because of that reason it's a really interesting but wait till i finish it because i'm halfway through it going uh, this can't be that simple. <laughs> it has to be something harder. So it's a good one to do. And the other one is um, if you've got a spin bike or do some exercise just to get a bit of momentum around, you can do a bit of a bit muck around with your kids because there's a couple of guys here that have kids. I think Anthea did a 101 of cooking the other day with her little one there. They were eating chocolate crackles, which you could have handed through. That would have been good. I would have had one of them. Um, and each day, plan your day. Even if it's only planning an hour, it's one of the big keys when things aren't quite working. You set up a bit of a standard for yourself and just plan that morning as to what you want to do. Don't make a list of a hundred things. This new line of thinking that I've started to do is 
tech down what you know you're going to do. Because I, I learned with my own team, like we've got our whole ag business is shut down, except for our wool, but our sheep, they just keep riding on. Um, but the rest of the export hay is, has been shut down because of the virus, the boats won't come into the port. Uh, we can't shift cattle at the moment across the border, uh, which is a real pain, especially when they're fat, they should go and get their heads chopped off and give me money. So we can't move them. And the other interesting thing is they've limited what seed production we can put in the ground. Now, you hear on the news that agriculture is going to be this group that pushes it along. Well, in the first week, we've already seen that they're holding us up. And there's two things that aren't holding us up here, and that's anything we've got online, which is this business and our niche uh, land sales business. They're just going off because people have got time. They've got time to look, they've got time to study, they ring you now. The other interesting thing about what we noticed this week was people are going away from the website connection and they're calling you directly on your phone. So some of the ads we're putting in, I'm putting the phone number there instead of the website and you're literally getting the most interested people call you not text you the suspects do the texting but the really interesting ones the ones that are curious and want to do something they're actually calling you so it's the same process run them through the interview script qualify them send them the information you might have to do a bit of extra work by typing their email and put their details in and one of the things that i've started saying which is probably a real estate thing is so i can close off the inquiry which is one of the words when I ring them up on the last time, what I'm wanting to do is close off the inquiry. Are you looking at moving forward or are you just gonna sit and wait? And what's happening is they're going, oh, don't, don't, don't close it off. You know, because I wanted to bring in that bit of a, a line of thought that meant that you people are gonna make your mind up here. I've got too many people to ring. And what I'm finding is they're actually coming back saying, well, okay, need more information, whatever, and then I'll send them back through the presentation. And if they can't see it on the first or second time, they're never gonna see it. So the last three people who have started have reacted to the statement, we're, we're, we're safe, are you? That was the headline. It's time to secure your future. Start moving in a direction that you have control because you know your boss doesn't, you know the company doesn't, and you know the global economy doesn't. But we're safe, where do you sit? And that seems to be the little theme here that people are reacting to. The other one, which is a bit tongue in cheek, so how's your super going? With the markets crashing around their ears, uh, my super's great. We don't, we don't invest in shares, we invest in knowledge. And it's really getting a dynamic group of people that are starting to call in and ask, what do you mean by that? And that's what we're meant to do in this next two weeks while everyone's penned up like a chicken. They're gonna want some good news. We've got the good news because we've been doing it for a good eight to 10 years, some of us. So we already know what Chain and Rage teach. And now it's about putting little snippets out there every day and being the one who says, okay, how come you guys are so bloody happy all the time? There's nothing to be unhappy about. We, we're going to get the elite. So that's what I'm sort of thinking on now is just change that perspective. You're not trying to target the guys in the dull queue. We don't want them because if they're running for money, they're not gonna run for business. We want to target the ones that have just thought, stuff this, I've been working, like this one lady who worked for Virgin I spoke to yesterday, she's in her early 50s, been with Virgin for 12 years or something, eight to 12 years, but with every other airline. And she said, you know what, I'm just fed to the teeth of every eight years being stood down because of some bloody crisis that someone else has done. So I'm just going to get myself into a position so that for the next five years, I'll build this part-time 
so I can step away and take full control. That is your best ad. That's your best ad because they're coming from people who were just bloody had it. She qualified out as 10. Now, I'm not sure how the redundancy things work uh, yet. I've got to find that out. But she was saying that she's going to get a payout and she's buying the program full out. That's how strong this can be for everyone. You're not looking now at an M1 sale, you're looking at an M8 sale. Now imagine what will happen to your business if you pick up 10 of the, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of people that are out of work, just 10. 10 would be really good, wouldn't it? You know, It would then put your business in a position and put you in a bit less stress. So it's time now to act while these people are in this vulnerable state of, what am I going to do? There's no point staying here anymore. And the last thing is work on your DMO a bit. Like when you do your plan, in that plan D work, you break it up into 35 minute sessions. Get out, do something different. It's not a working day, we have to work eight hours a day now. Do 35 minutes of work, do 10 minutes of I get on the spin bike and pedal away there for 10 minutes. I never get anywhere, I'm still in the same spot, but I'm, I'm working on the theory I'm getting fat or thin, one or the other. And then just break your day up and then that last five or 10 minutes is what I've decided to spend in gratitude, just to break the full hour up. So that by the time I go back to work, partially in my head I've planned what the next half or 35, 40 minutes is. And what I've found over this week is 35 minutes goes awful quick. And then if you know you've got to get on the spin bike for 10 minutes, you're thinking, I oh, should hope it doesn't turn up this up. You know, the spin bike seems to take forever to get off for 10 minutes on end. But it breaks the day up. What it makes you do in that 35 minutes is complete everything. So you start a pattern of completion. And because this is sort of new and people have got to change things up, it's probably worth having a crack at. Now, the other thing is uh, captive audiences. That's what we've got now. We've got a captive audience online. You can't go to work. You're not going to get all of them, but if you could get 1% of them. So I've started doing SMS marketing again, and I wouldn't say we're going brilliantly with that. We're getting a lot of abuse. Uh, but the other thing we did start was registered let post uh, flyer drops through the post office. And we're getting about nine leads a day. Because people aren't, can't go outside, but they're happy to go and read the mail now. They're bored. So we're now getting about nine leads a day that are coming through just uh, flyers in the mail. Now, obviously you can't walk around and put them out now, but you can go to the post office and, and pay for a prepaid and they, they post every one. Now, I would suggest that you work out what suburbs uh, you go to. So don't just blanket the whole town. Well, if you're in a little country town, I suppose you can. But, uh, but if you're in a bigger town, well, I would work out where all the people got redundant from, where they live, and I would be sending, I would be targeting that, that suburb. The other thing is for the video people, this is your time to shine. You can get on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and a few of the others, and just start talking, answer questions for people. And one of the questions someone asked me the other day, which is a, was a classic, he, he contacted, I went to pastoral college with this bloke 20 years ago, or 30 years ago, however long, a long time ago anyway. Um, and he said, geez, he said, how come you haven't done any pep talks lately? I said, well, I don't do. He said, no, he said, it keeps me motivated. He said, I applied to all my staff in the engineering works teach them to get their mind on the game. So we need someone who can just, not me because they don't like listening to bosses, but they'll listen to someone else. So start using what you've learned from Shane and Rach and the other leaders and report back in for yourself. Start setting a little channel up. It can only be one thing, you know. For example, um, I'm just gonna take Lynn as an example. You spent, uh, you've had a little bit of a interesting 2020, there's plenty of things that have uh, happened. I wouldn't go and explain what they are, but you can come from the point of view of saying, you know what, 2020 hasn't been the most exciting start for us. 
you know, we financially we had to do something, and then we had a, a personal matter that disrupted, and then we had the coronavirus. You know, so how do you get through? How do you step through those those hoops so you can keep going? And you answer it in your own words. You know, you know what you had to do and how you had to change your thinking. You might have read a book. You might have run on the beach. You might have pumped iron. I don't know. Or you got desperate and wore a wallaby jump just to really, buddy, show you what. But whatever it is, make sure that you put it in your own words and become the leader without them knowing because everyone's got a challenge it doesn't matter which one it is so that's one way of doing it the other one is you could go into a q a session and it just to answer one or two questions i've started doing an iMovie thing where i um i in my memos i talk about one particular topic and then i download it onto iMovie and put a few photos in there and it's all talking about the Beyond Freedom program, the 17 day program, what I've learned and taking bits out of it and educating people. Because I think yesterday we had three 17 day programs just, they've been listing for ages and all of a sudden they bought just, and I got that excited, well, who did it? What, what happened, what happened? <laughs> so, you know, that, that $500 profit or $1,000 profit you make just from the 17 day program, that's a big boost you didn't have to really do too much. They just want that content. And with Shane and Rach now taking the 17 day program online, and talking about it as an ongoing gift, so to speak, this is a golden opportunity to reiterate, even, even do a segue into sharing that to them. Because all of a sudden people are looking for guidance. They're not looking to be sold to, they just want to know that there is another way of thinking to move on. Um, you know, now, your target audiences. You probably already know who got the boot, has been made redundant. Anyone who's got a coffee shop or a uh, cuts hair or even some farmers to a certain degree. But you've got Michael Hill, you've got the airlines, you've got Flight West, you've got a lot of retail managers, certainly a lot of gym people. Major target audience at the moment, major target audience. Because the really interesting thing is they've already got the motivation to do something. They're already professional in their own outfit. Now they're frustrated. So we can now target them. And one of the things that I've done, and I, I hope all you guys have a crack at, is don't try and make your own ads up for these airlines people. Go to Qantas, go to Air New Zealand, go to Virgin, go to Cafe Pacific, go and write down, copy their ad form and fill it in so it suits your business. Because all of these airline people are used to reading that type of ad. And what I found the other day when I picked up two Qantas people, I just used the Qantas ad and, they and put it in my own words and they responded to that. It's the same as the Michael Hill jewelers. They have a different set of wording, different style of ad to us. But if you write that ad out and put it in a personal development terms and your business terms, you're gonna target the type of people that look for that. Now most of these people were on Seek. And would you believe, I wrote one of the airline ones out and actually got it onto Seek. It's only taken three years, but I got the bastard on there. And we're getting a steady flow of leads. So start utilizing some of those, especially some of the gym training. You'll see, I think you go to a career as a gym trainer or career in the, in the fitness industry, whatever. They have a different group of associated words which attract them. They're the, that, that's your big audience here. There's a massive audience. So I would have a crack at doing that. Um, and also you might even, I'm trialing something today, which is really interesting. I don't know how it's going to go. And I've sent a, uh, an interesting long sales letter 
to nine companies that all are in the travel industry looking for the best and brightest. And if it works out, we'll do some sponsoring for that airline. Now, that's not going to be for everyone, I understand that, but I've sent one letter out which went to Flight West and they literally gave me a list of people to contact. So I got 35 people from North Queensland who are about to lose their jobs. They'll help them get into anything. But the interesting thing was the flight less the flight centre lady I spoke to was more interested in buying them the 17 day program. Now, they're gonna have to pay them something anyway, but imagine if we can pick up 50, 60, 100 people through those big companies, buy them the program to help them. That's an extra bit of income that you can have play with. So it's a sort of an exciting time here because yes, you're still putting your classified ads out and, and your Facebook ads if, if you choose to and LinkedIn. You're still doing your six daily activities like normal, but now you've got some detailed targets to play with. And I would just pick the ones that suit you you know, if you're into gym or into fitness or, or that sort of thing, it just adds another dimension to your business. And look, the other, just in summary, your lead flow is not gonna be as high over the next couple of weeks, but it will be powerful. Like our lead flow dropped from about 80 leads a week down to 20, we put through 12. Now that, that's a, I don't mind. <laughs> We've still got three more to do, but you know, hopefully we can round up the other three to keep the, the three plan going. But they're highly qualified. And what we're doing now is just, it'll be a bit slower. You'll get a little bit frustrated. You'll be sitting there wondering what the bloody hell am I doing here? I'm wasting this time and money. But if you pend up like a chicken and you've got nothing else to do, I wouldn't suggest go and throw money hell west and crooked. I would start building your, your platform, your Facebook channel or, or your YouTube station or whatever social media you want to work on. Start that pattern going so people can see you and get your name out there and build your audience. You know, I don't think it's a great time to throw money everywhere because people are literally, for the first couple of weeks, there until this curve, what they call this virus curve flattens, people are going to just literally clamp onto their wallet and not do too much. I mean, here's a great example. The other day, we've got to swap over a couple of cars. It all sort of had to happen before the end of March. And um, because the cars are well and truly over through 200,000 cars. Anyway, so I contacted all of the, the different people we're going to deal with. Anyway, and I need to know Holden has got the boot. They're still a good car and they're still going to look after them. So Holden rang me back and said, we'll give you three cars for your organisation, 5,000 under each. So you made a saving of 15,000. So you've got businesses now eager to do something. If you look at business for sale websites, you want to see businessforsale.com where you can advertise around the world. If you upgrade, I think it's by the end of, well, at the end of March or a couple of weeks into March, into April, they're going to give you a year of advertising for free. Now, there's a number that careers is another site, um, Career Jet's another site that's people have stopped advertising on there. So now they've dropped the plot, dropped the price down. So now more than ever, start searching for all of the discounts that are coming from these organisations that are now needing us and they're happy. My big tip is whenever you go onto a new site, ring them up and say, listen, I'm not sure my business is gonna work here. Do you have a trial period? This week I've got seven trial periods. Now, I only need one to work or one sale and all of a sudden we'll put some money into it. But I mean, don't be afraid to ask that because you are a business owner now. And other than that, just keep in contact with what, when you can, and this is a funny period too. You know, we didn't get everyone on this call because of the, obviously there's other things that they have to do. And in these really uncertain times, you've just got to fit in and fit yourself in to what's going on. 
Uh, and don't be afraid, I'm not going to be chasing anyone up. If you don't want to come to the call, that's fine. But if you want to learn a few more things that are a little bit more in your face and more obvious, just tune in to all the Facebook Live stuff with Shane and Rach. Go through some of your past calls because there's a lot of information there. And uh, just watch this. If you can push through this little section the next 10 days and that curve flattens, people are gonna open their wallets like anything. And that's where money for us, because they're gonna, let's go and do that. Let's, and having words like we're safe for you, are you gonna put up with this sort of lifestyle anymore? They're little things that will trigger them to come and have a look. And we already know that the information that we've got works. We already know the business works. We've just got to work better. So create a few new habits over the next couple of weeks. Mine's meant to be beer free. I don't know if that's really going to work that much, but anyway. Might have to start the beer free thing next week, mate. <laughs> Uh, do your personal development and look if anyone's got any dramas don't be afraid to reach out and just ring Even if you're not doing anything in your business now and you feel frustrated and lost my job is to sort of Run you through that, that it's it, this is okay. This is normal you Now if I go back 11 years ago when We've watched our accountants run us nine million behind we followed all the experts in the GFC and it's the scariest thing when you're watching everything disappear in front of you and they're the experts. And I still remember sitting there going, wow, how did we go from 1 million to 9.2 million red? I thought it stopped at 1 million. And I remember the instantly thinking, whatever I do from this moment forward, I can never think or do the same thing. And that's why I bought this business. I bought it, I thought, well, I'll go into debt a bit more, nine million and, and 35,000 more wasn't gonna cut it. So I bought the business and within six weeks, we had cash flow. All following these ideas. They're not much different to what they were back then, except we didn't have all the technology for video or anything like that. That was too dear to run a video, but. So now just play with the idea, because this is your golden chance you get about Three weeks where you can just jam your information out there. You watch people look. People are looking for leadership now. I can't rely on the media because you don't really know what they're doing, even though they've probably brought a few people in that people trust. The government, well, they're all fighting with each other and they're going to keep fighting with each other. So it's up to you to lead yourself. And what better group to be with than Polaris because we don't run away from the shadows. We're going to approach the shadows and, and work it out. And that's really our little call this morning. It it's probably sounds like a bit of a pep talk, but this is a golden opportunity for everyone to swing your business around. Just throw everything at it. It's not money you're throwing, it's just time. You know, if there's, a, there's a, one of the new ladies up in Darwin, Rosalind, she's probably going through some really interesting times with what she's doing. Get on your page and start talking about why you started a business and what it means to you to know you've got a backup. Uh, you've got Pacifico, who's um, probably in the same situation to a certain degree. Talk about what, what it means to know that you're in charge now. Lynn, you've gone through your uh, questions. We've got Roger uh, and Helen. They're probably having a few more dramas than they would like. But I mean, start writing down those reasons and what keeps you pulling you forward. If it's a personal development, talk about that. John and Michael, well, you guys, you're trying to get back to Australia and you've been up somewhere around the world. Talk about that, use that as your platform to say, <clears throat> excuse me, to say, look, we're, we're in charge still. This is where people see you at your best. When everyone's scared and cowering, you step up. And then all of a sudden things change and your business changes overnight. And that's what happened to me in 2008 when all this fell over. In the end, you're just gonna say, stuff it, I'm not gonna go down that path anymore. And now write those words out. And 
one of the things that I do a lot of now is I get the uh, iPad, the uh, phone, and I put it on the memo. And when you're having one of those shit days, and we all have them, where you want to rip someone's head off and literally let go, you get on that, record that message. Record it. You yell at your phone, don't throw it, they don't like that. Um, but the reality is, get on there and then some of your best advertising will be in that message. See, because it's true. When you're hurting and things don't work, you want to rail and you blame someone. Some of your best headlines are in there. Some of your best content is in that argument you're having with the phone. Don't do it in front of other people because they think you're mad. And that's about it, but have fun. If you, if you want to have a chat or you're a bit down in the dumps, don't be afraid to give me a call. I'm captivated now too. I can't do any farming. My sheep are running well. I've got the right people on and I'm here. So don't be afraid to say good day and just catch up. And I think we'll go back to probably not weekly calls, but at least twice a month to catch up. Not training calls, it's really more mindset calls to see how you're traveling. We got enough training with everything that Jane and Rachel and the leaders are doing. This is probably to galvanize the, the group together a bit more. We've tried different things of not contacting with people, leaving, giving people more time. And what I've found, even with my own farming organisation, we've taken mm -hmm. all of that offline now, where I'll become more of a hands-on drive around, fly around, my new plane. And um, we can fly in, spend a couple of days with them. Because even though video is good, there's nothing better than actually seeing someone face to face. And now we've got a few people around Australia I'm thinking this is a good time when they let us, they unlock the borders, go driving. Sort of working, but socialising too. You know, because we've got a couple in Perth, we've got a couple in Darwin now, uh, three in Adelaide. I haven't got any Victorians, I think they might have flown the coop. Two in New South Wales and four in Queensland. And three in Tassie. You know, Tassie will have to wait. Uh, cold down there. I turn up there in December in a jumper. It's still cold down there. And we're getting a couple of Kiwis. We've got about 15 Canadians and nine uh, UK people who are trying to make their way home. I'm not sure how they're doing it, but they're driving. So, yeah, I don't know whether this is going to get done. <laughs> but just have fun with it and just, if you've got any questions, just ask. And that's it. Have you got anything to add, Lynn? Um, no, but that was wonderful. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Pete. Um, the, um, I, I haven't been really um, active on the front line um, for a little while, but um, definitely um, I know now is um, a great time to get get my bum into to gear again. Won't won't take long. Um, but yeah, all this information that you've shared with us today is um, is fantastic, and it is a great time um, to get started and um, just or just keep building. I think. Yeah, I think so. Just keep building, have fun, join in on the calls, uh, and and I've got to admit, I've spent the last twelve months making sure my own ag business has become more self sufficient and. And it has, like we've, we took an extra three months longer than what we thought to pull it into gear, where I was only sort of hitting and missing a bit on this. And I thought, well now, it's funny how when you decide to take ownership of something properly, that everything changes. And within a week, everything changed. Because I literally had a week where I just went to work and changed everything up, got on the bike, mucked around on it, and do my dumbbells and and all the kettlebell routine, go back to work, and all of a sudden four or five hours goes and we go, oh, I can still keep going. <laughs> you know, and, and it's really about just changing your mindset and, and putting good information in. And if you have to listen to the news, wear a set of earmuffs. Just watch the news. <laughs> Be 
because they're a distractive mob of buggers. No one's happy. It's always a rather dreadful time. But um, And look, hopefully all you guys are well. Uh, I, know, I know over in New Zealand you're on pretty much chicken duty where you can't go anywhere. You pretty much bend up over there. Um, and I think we're looking at, we're trying to get the borders shut between southeast Queensland and north Queensland over here because all of the bloody Crowney people are all down south. And all of the grey nomads from down south are up here holidaying out west. They're not taking any notice of the guidelines at all. So I know the top of North Queensland has been cut off up around Corumba, and they're trying to say everything south of, of Rockhampton. Through to Gundawindi, they don't want anyone up here because that's where all of the, the problem is. And I don't know whether it's the right thing, Tom will tell, but. Um, but all I know is that if we can dampen that curve over the next couple of weeks, you watch people, watch people buy, they'll get confident and go, okay, I'm going. So we've got yeah. to be two weeks, I reckon. Two weeks to just get out there and turn the world upside down. Oh. And it's bad. I, I've got a little thing in my office here going, I just want 2% of all the people that are redundant. <laughs> Wouldn't that be unreal? So play the game of what's possible, believe in the magic and have a bit of fun. But uh, you can see you'll have to hire Henry now. That's right. Henry, go to work. Oh, he can't. He has to, he's a talker. He won't be able to have to talk, do a long range talk, we call it up here. Long range right. talk. Two metres away, yell at each other. Yeah. Well, we're both in self isolation at the moment, so. Yeah. And you've had no symptoms of, um, you know, apart from the normal Kiwi thing where you run around in circles, but you know. We, yeah. yeah. No, we're so we have what the kangaroos in around where we hop from one thing to everything else, you know. So, uh, and I was meant to fly into Darwin the other day, but then they said to me, well, you fly in, you've got to self isolate in the house. I said, well, I'm going back to the station. They said, well, you can't go outside the house. I said, no one comes on the station. I said, there's a biosecurity thing in there, so no one's going to come down there. And we had to put a sign on the gate saying that we we're this infected person from Queensland and contact all the neighbours. I mean, it's 93,000 hectares. It's not as if the neighbours are coming home for a cup of tea. Oh, yeah. We're going to see you across the bloody paddock, are they? But they were the rules and I wasn't allowed to move outside the house. For 14 days, no, that's not going to happen, is it? No. I don't have a place like that, especially when no one's there. It's not as if you're going to pollute the birds. But, uh, yeah, some funny rules, funny rules. But I think they're also learning too, so I'll cut it with a bit of slack. Okay, well, I will leave everyone be. Have a great week. We will probably try and do this every two weeks, Jess. Not so much a training thing or a pep talk or anything like that. It's just to catch up with everyone. Some people are going to have questions and people might even have ideas. Uh, I haven't done any Facebook marketing for a while. I'm not a big fan of Facebook at the best of times, uh, but I've got to try and learn to move past that a bit. One of the other guys uh, who's just started is right into Facebook, and, and, and both of them seem to really like it. Uh, they're not on this call today either, but they might read this, and uh, I think Anthea's still going a bit. Um, certainly quite present on a page um, but have a bit of fun and if you've got any questions don't be afraid to ring up or if you just want to whinge I've, I'm pretty deaf I won't hear it. <laughs> have a great uh, <laughs> have a great Friday and we'll catch you uh, online okay see you Pete. Okay,